Beaumont legend. This is book two. As you can see, this is a sculch. It's a fire demon. And uh, when I was a child, I read a story about this alleged fire creature that was walking in the snow and leaving hooves uh, footprints in the snow and it would walk up the side of little homes or cottages in uh, a town and that was what basically launched me into writing this whole story but this story is is very special to me it launched me into a lot of different directions when I thought that all I would ever write were genation stories uh, on the back it says in the wild north secluded from city populations the small mining town of Colmont harbors secrets of file origins during the early 1990s the land was cursed. A mysterious traveler bridges a particular link to the strange occurrences which ultimately lead to the town's people vanishing. Reports of demon uh, fire creatures were blamed for the ambiguous disappearances. The new town residents, or second wave of inhabitants, were an edgy lot who would dare go out at night for fear of being abducted also. These occupiers were miserable in their gloomy little cabins. Not only were they citizens at a loss for sleep, but they shared the same sense of hopelessness, isolation, along with their particular presence, wickedness. The discovery for notorious train robber Bill Miner's treasure map caused things to really take a drastic turn. Hidden within the dense forests of Colmont's mountains lurked a rarely noticed jewels of a Sasquatch clan. They lived like a discreet community of shy people. These forest giants were known as the big people. The forest became darker than it actually was. The discontented investigation expedition from Colmont experienced a fear so life-altering and rare when they happened upon the little village of the wild folks that by the time everything came together at the end the results were utterly explosive until there is a way to verify the accounts of this story it will have to remain a legend